Yo, 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 this is Mr. O. Yo, 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 this is Mr. O, and today we're going to learn about properties of equality. So what are the properties of equality? Okay, so addition property, if A is equal to B, then we can say that whatever we add to A, we have to add it also to B. So for example, A plus C, then therefore B plus C. Same thing with subtraction property. Of equality. If we know that A equals B, if we subtract something to A, let's say we subtract by C, then we need to subtract C from B. And multiplication property, if A is equal to B again, so therefore if we, whatever we multiply to A, we get to multiply it to B. So let's say A times C is equal to B times C. Likewise, when we are using division property of equality, if A is equal to B, so therefore that A over C is equal to B over C, knowing that C cannot be equal to zero because if zero, uh, if the value of C is zero, it will be undefined. Distributive property. If we have A times the quantity B plus C, if we distribute the A to B and C, the quantity B plus C, it will become AB plus A. C. Okay. <clears throat> Next, substitution property. If we know that A is equal to B, then we can replace A by any value for A to B. So then A may be replaced by B in any expression or equation because you know that A is equal to B. Reflexive property of equality. For any real number A, A is equal to A. Your face is reflecting the mirror of, and what you see in the mirror is yourself. And that is always be equal to itself. Symmetric property. Symmetric property is that if A is equal to B, then you can swap them. Then we can say that B is equal to A. While transitive property of equality if A is equal to B and then B is equal to C, so therefore A is equal to C, right? So that are the properties of equality. So let's apply those properties in this problem. So let's do it one by one. If K is equal to 3, then 3 is equal to K. Which among that one on the properties that we have done? K equals 3, 3 equals K. So therefore, that is symmetric property of equality. Next, if 2X equals 14, then X equals 7. How can you get an X equals 7 from the hypothesis 2X equals 14? You divide it by 2 each time. So therefore, this is division property of equality. Next, 10y equals 10y. Hi. 10y equals 10y. They're the same. They're perfectly the same. You're looking like a mirror. 10y, looking in the mirror, the reflection is also 10y. That means it is called reflexive property of equality. Next, number four. If negative 5x minus 1 is equal to negative 11, then negative 5x is equal to negative 10. So how do you think we got negative 5x minus 10 from the hypothesis here? We added 1 on both sides of the equation. So therefore, number 4 is addition property of equality. Number 5, if 10a equals 2b, and 2b, again, 2b again, is equal to c. Therefore, 10a equals c. So since 2b here and there's another 2b here, then we cancel them out. So therefore, we have 10a equals c. Then we can say 10a equals c then. So that is called transitive 
property of equality. Next, number six, negative seven times the parentheses n minus four. What do you do or how did we get negative seven n plus 28 from the negative seven times the n minus four? We distributed the negative seven. So that's called distributive property of equality. Number seven, if 6y is 24, then 6y minus 3 is equal to 23 minus 24 minus 3. So what just happened there? We have um, minus 3 here and a minus 3 here. We subtracted 3 on both sides of the equation to 6y and 24 respectively. So this one here is called subtraction property of equality. 8. 10x plus w equals 41 and w equals 1. So therefore, you plug in the w equals 1 to the w here. You substitute it and replace it. That's why you have a 1 here. So that's called substitution property of equality. Next, 3x equals 2y, and then 2y again is equal to z. So therefore, 3x equals z. It's similar to number 5. 2y is being repeated here. So therefore, that's called transitive property of equality. Number 10, if 7 is equal to 35, then 7m plus 4 is equal to 35 plus 4. What do you think happened? You have 7m and 35. You added 4 here. You added 4 there. So that's called addition property of equality. Next, 11. If negative 2c is equal to 18, and then we can swap them, it becomes now 18 equals negative 2c. That is called, really swap them, that's called symmetric property of equality, similar to number one. Next, number 12. Given 3x squared plus 1, if x equals 5, we can substitute the 5 to the x there. That's how you get 3 times 5 squared plus 1. So that's called substitution property of equality. If m equals negative 2, then 8m equals negative 16. How do you think we got this one here? We basically multiply this by 8 and multiply this by 8. And that's called multiplication property of equality. And for the last one here, 5x plus 8x. And then you have 5 plus 8 here. How do you think we can get that one there? If you distribute this x here, you'll get 5x plus 8x. So that's called distributive property of equality. And that's the uh, property of equality. Kaboom.